Hey everybody, uh, thanks for watching again and uh, just another encouraging word or something to think about, you know, um, today, where you're at and what you're doing. And when you're, when you're in the church and you're part of a church and you're serving in the church, how do you know that that's where you're supposed to be? People wonder this all the time, you know, um, should I be down the street? Should I be somewhere else? Where should I be? Um, and really, wherever you are, you should be there because God has planted you there, because he sent you there, and because that's where you're supposed to be. If you're, if you're not sure of that, you just ask the Lord, you know, um, Lord, where am I supposed to be? Where am I supposed to be planted? Where am I, who are my people? Who's my tribe? You know, where am I supposed to be? And God will lead you wherever you're supposed to be. If you're a part of a place where, uh, you know, you're just not connecting or, you know, it's just not working out, you need to ask the Lord, you know, where am I supposed to be? Am I supposed to be somewhere else? And when you find the group or the tribe or the people, really, that are for you and, and where God really wants you, you're going to thrive there. Um, now, you can't always... If you're not feel like if you feel like you're not thriving, sometimes you have to take a step back and say, "What is it in me?" It's real easy for us to just point fingers at everybody else, and it's this, it's that, it's the other. But sometimes too, you have to step back and say, "God, what are you needing to do in this heart so that I can thrive in this group where I'm at? What am I missing?" And if you are, if that's the case, if it's just you, then God will say, "Well, let me point some things out in you that I want to take care of and deal with." Now, to do this, you have to have an intimate relationship with Jesus. You have to have the kind of relationship that you come into a place with the Lord of talking with him and listening to him and letting him deal with you and work on your heart. It can't just be a prayer list relationship. There's a lot of Christians, I believe, they have a prayer list relationship, which means they don't know how to let God do something in here. All they know how to do is look at everything out there and just kind of machine gun it down you know, as that's always the problem. When I will tell you this, 99.9% .9 of the time, the problems within us are right here. It's in us. It's not everyone else and everything else. If we would change, all of a sudden our vision changes, and now you see everybody differently. Uh, but there are times where God will lead you and say, you know what, this is not where I want you. I want you somewhere else. In that case, you have to be led by the Spirit of God. And I would say this, it's okay to talk to leadership about that. And say, you know what, I feel like God's leading me over here. And, and you can even say to them, you know, what do I need to do to just, to just go in the right way? What do I need to do to be released in the right way? What do you want me to do? And whatever those leaders come up with, as long as it's not something crazy, whatever they come up with, it's good to honor them in that and say, yeah, I'm willing to do that. Maybe they're like, well, I want you to just do this or stay here for this much longer or just do one more month in this ministry. And then we just want to release you to go. It's very, very honorable to do that because you want to leave with the blessing of the church um, that you're in before you move on. And there's really a lot of wisdom in that. And God honors that. He's going to honor your heart to serve. Um, it's better to get sent than to get went is what uh, Wendell McGowan preaches all the time. And that is good advice um, for your future and moving on. But be led by the Spirit of God. Say, God, what do you need to do in me? Where am I supposed to be? He's going to lead you in all of it. He's going to bless you incredibly. Honor your leadership and you'll see that God's going to honor you. So thanks for watching.